The Creative Stage 2.1 High Performance Under Monitor Soundbar with Subwoofer for TV, Computers, and Ultra Wide Monitors. Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Creative Stage 2.1 Soundbar with Subwoofer for your gaming needs. So you just got your Samsung Odyssey G7 or Dell S3220 DGF or Alienware AW2720HF or you even have the Aorus AD27QD monitor and you realize none of them have any speakers. I have an awesome solution for you. You don't need five speakers all around your desk to clutter everything up. You don't need a cheap knockoff Bluetooth sound speaker that does not make you enjoy your visuals with cheap audio. Currently I use the Aki 20 watt Bluetooth speaker and if you've seen any of my gameplay videos from the monitors, that's the speaker I have been using all this time. But this Creative Stage 2.1 160 watt system finally makes me enjoy my beautiful monitors with amazing sound at a very affordable price. It beats the competition, there is nothing like it currently on Amazon and I've been searching forever and I was about to buy a cheaper brand, a cheap knockoff brand. When I say cheap knockoff brand, I'm talking about a brand that you have never heard about, you know what I'm saying? And Creative is a well-known brand and I'm happy that I got this at an awesome price with its amazing performance. And in this video, I will have gameplay sound and music sound and equalizer setting sounds so you can see all the differences to help you in your buying decision. So what I'll do now is I'll put some gameplay, then we'll hear some music, and for the picky audio files out there, I will try all the equalizers with a music track, and hopefully you can tell the difference. I would say listen to this with headphones so you can closer hear the audio, and also turn down your bass settings if you have thumping bass on your headphones or in your surround system, because this bass with that bass, it'll be too much bass, so make sure you have everything neutral so you can hear the differences of the Aki 20 watt sound speaker, the Creative Stage 2.1 sound system with subwoofer, and I also will have the Creative Speaker without the subwoofer so you can hear the massive difference that a subwoofer does make when you're considering getting a soundbar. Ready? Victory goes to the last one standing.
Now here we have a long throw subwoofer for deep thumping bass for an immersive audio experience. It doesn't sound muddy, it's not a cheap subwoofer, it does sound awesome. Now just to note, I have been using this for a while now and I have found that this system is better for a room or a closed space. It's not good for a living room environment. There are some pictures at the description site where it shows people are in the living room and they have this, you know, powering the sound. It's not gonna give you an amazing experience. The more open room you have, the less sound you'll get. While it is an awesome sound bar, it's really meant for a closed, in your face, one person, computer desk, console gaming area. Don't get me wrong, you can use this for a TV in your living room, it's just that it's not gonna give you that surround sound experience that you're probably gonna be expecting because it's the living room. It will give you better sound than your speakers from your TV, but it's not gonna give you that amazing, powerful subwoofer cinema audio that you're expecting. Again, you have to look at the price that you're paying, but the quality is there and it's really meant for a personal use gaming media area. Again, that's just my observation. As you can see, it has Bluetooth technology built in. I've connected my phone, my tablet, no problems whatsoever. I have my Audible and I put it on it, it sounds perfect. I put music and gaming from my phone or from my tablet, sounds amazing. This specific version of the soundbar has an optical audio input. That is a must for your 360 gaming, for your console gaming that you need, or if you have a PC that can also send out an optical audio signal, this is the one to get. They do make a cheaper version of this, but the soundbar is smaller, has less features, and it doesn't have the subwoofer. I honestly would say get this one, do not get the other one. Even though it's cheaper, this has more watts, so you're gonna actually get better sound with this and more powerful sound. I would say get this one. But just wanted to let you know that they do make a cheaper one, but less features. The optical is the most important thing I got this for because I wanted a dual purpose soundbar. I want to be able to connect my computer, connect my Xbox, and connect my tablet to it. It does all three things that I need. That's an awesome feature to have. And many other ones, cheaper ones, don't have these features. It has all the options that I need to have it as a two to three way triple purpose soundbar. It has the AUX 3.5 millimeter cable connections, or if you don't have optical, you can connect your audio line out from your monitor to the soundbar with no issues and no problem. You can put some music tracks on your USB stick, stick it in there and it will read it, no problems whatsoever. It has TV ARC, so you can get audio from your TV through an HDMI cable at 160 watt peak in wattage, so it gives you an amazing sound compared to cheaper speakers. It's a powerful bass, it does have awesome bass. You will hear the differences coming up pretty soon in this video. One of the most amazing things that it has, it has a controller. Now the controller has EQ settings, music, cinema, concert and gaming. You can connect the Bluetooth or USB, whatever you have connected there. You can actually control it from your controller. It has a stop, play, pause, rewind, and fast forward or skip next track button. You can also select the input from your controller so you don't have to press no button. Like other systems, you have to hold a button or something. You can actually do it from the controller. You can control the treble, you can control the bass, add more, add less, and the volume, minus and plus with a mute button. So the controller is an amazing feature as you can see here in the box you get the controller 3.5 millimeter stereo to stereo cable a quick start guide a wall mounting kit the actual soundbar and the subwoofer as you can see it has everything that you may need even to wall mount it so as you can see the subwoofer does make a massive difference in total sound quality power and if you're looking for sound this is an awesome system to include under your new samsung odyssey g7 or dell s3220 dgf monitor so you can really experience and enjoy the visuals with accompanying audio and here are more pictures here just showing you again with the deeper louder bolder it shows you the speakers it shows you the subwoofer shows you here the Bluetooth and the audio in. It shows the optical in and TV ARC with all the compatible devices. It's a plug and play system. It's super simple, super easy. And again, with the controller, that is an amazing feature. And again, I'm gonna say they do make two versions of this. Get the one with the controller, get the one with the subwoofer. It makes a massive difference. You're paying for the quality here and I'm happy to report it's an amazing system for your console and PC needs. And don't forget to check out my other monitor and PC accessory videos in the playlist to help you in your buying decision. The holidays are coming up. This would be an amazing system to get for your special someone. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future video. I'll see you guys next time.